Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I use Procreate. Procreate is an app for the iPad. If you watched my last week's video of what's on my iPad Pro, I tell you a little bit about Procreate. Um, the image that I'm going to be creating today is actually an image that's over on my Instagram at the moment and it was from my holiday two years ago in Greece. Um, and I show you exactly how I cartoonize slash use it as a digital illustration. Um, now, I just want to remind everybody I am not a professional at this. This is just something I like to do in my spare time, especially with quarantine at the moment. Um, it's really good um, to have something to keep my mind busy and allow like my creativity to flow as well. So I really like this app and a few people have asked me how I create these images. So I'm going to get on with the video. But before I do, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and click the bell and you'll be notified every Wednesday at six o'clock when I upload a new video. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button and leave me a comment down below. Just let me know what you think and if there's any digital illustrations you want me to do for you guys or if there's any um, videos that you would like to see from me in the next coming weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll get on with the video. So I'm just going to head on into my Procreate app and as you can see here I already have the picture that I'm going to do um, but usually I would just do a normal um, screen size uh, in Procreate for a new canvas and then I just jump on into that canvas. I like to zoom it out and then I go to the little spanner at the top and insert a photo. So this is a photo that I've inserted and it's just a picture of me on holiday and I'm going to cartoonize this photo. So what I'm going to start by doing is coming over here and I'm going to add another layer on top. Um, I like to start with the thing that's probably going to be the easiest so I like to just click down and hold and I get the colour for the swimsuit. You can kind of go over if the colour changes a little bit but this one's quite dark here. So I'm just going to use that colour I'm going to go into my pen and make sure that I'm in inking and I'm using the studio pen. And then I just adjust this. I always keep it um, at the um, opacity at 100. Um, and then I just like to adjust this here. But I'll start drawing before I decide what kind of colour I want to adjust it to. So I zoom right in. And I start to trace around the body. So I feel like that's a little bit too thick for me. So I just bring it down a little bit and then start tracing again. And when you're doing this, even though this line technically doesn't really join here, I join it up because we're going to fill this part completely in, in an easy way rather than sitting and colouring everything in. So the best way that I can do it is you just take the little circle and hold it down. You can see it's dragging and you just drop it into that square there and that turns that the colour that you have um, that you want it essentially. And I'm just going to do a little bit up here for the red here and colour that in. Just so that matches everything really nicely. And then I'm going to go on and I'm going to do the bottom part. And again, before you fill it in, make sure everything is joined together. Even if you leave like the most minute gap when you're doing this, it'll colour the whole picture in rather than the section that you're wanting. And then again, I just hold down and colour that in. I move on to this section here, which is a black section. And I make sure that you can't just kind of go around that side there. Um, you can't just go around here and then try and colour it in. You have to join all these lines together or again it will just colour in the bits that you don't want to be, have coloured in. So I'm just going to join these up and then again just drop and drag. And there you go. So then I'm going to move on to my skin colour. So as you can see in this photo I have a tan. So you can see like my tan line here and my tan line here. But I'm just going to pick like the best colour for my overall skin and with the shadows you can kind of see it's a little bit darker in areas so I'm just going to try and find what colour suits the best um, 
because if you keep picking all the different colours from each section you're just going to get your body looking loads of different colours even though it's lighter and darker here so I just like to pick one overall colour and use that for all of the skin, the face and the chest and the legs as well so I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick a colour from my chest that seems the lightest because these ones are quite shadowed here so they're going to look a little bit darker and then again I'm just going to go round and trace round my legs. I always find the best thing for this is to zoom in to the picture and just take it a section at a time. But what I am going to do is down here I had like a little bit of shadow here. So I'm just going to go back to that original photo and pick up what that shadow kind of looks like. And then I'm going to go to the opacity here and turn that down a little bit. And I can see that shadow. I'm going to turn the opacity of the brush down and just give it a little bit here. And then go back and turn the opacity up and see how that looks. So it kind of just gives my ankle a little bit more definition where my heel was so I like to do those little kind of quirky bits there again I'll probably add in a little bit from my elbow and then for my knees as well so just I'm just gonna speed through the arms here and um, just the same way I did the legs and then I'll get back to you when we're doing the face and the hair Okay, so now I'm going to move on to doing the face here and again I'm just going to take a colour from the skin and I'm just going to trace around my face. I'm going to go over the hair right now and I'll draw it out and then fill it in and then I'll show you what I do to add a little bit of dimension to the hair. Okay, so now that I have that colour all kind of coloured in, I'm just going to drag it down and turn all my hair the one colour. Just make sure that I've not missed anywhere. So that kind of makes my hair that one tone. Um, I don't like it looking like just one tone. I prefer to add little details into it. Um, but I just go around the face and make sure that everything looks nice. It all looks nice here. 
So I'm quite happy with that. So then what I do is I go into the opacity of this image, turn it down, and then I start to pick out like lighter and darker colors of my hair. And I start to just kind of like follow my natural shape of my hair and just give it a little bit more dimension. And then you can go and turn the opacity up and you can see how this looks. So you can see really faintly those like darker colours and you can like colour the hair in however you want. So this kind of just adds a little bit of dimension to the hair. So now that that's kind of everything I like to do with it, I'm going to go back into this layer up here. I'm going to turn this layer down and I like to add little bits in from like my chest. So just add that here and then I just kind of draw like a little triangle. I can kind of perfect it a little bit more when the opacity turns back up. But you can see here it just adds a little bit more kind of like dimension to the body. So I'm like more than happy with that. That looks good to me. I'm happy. And um, the next step that I like to do is take away the background and just give like one full kind of background over this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a colour that I like over the top of this. So I'm going to try a few different colours and see what one that I like. So that's the finished product there. Um, and that's, you can see the difference between this image and that image. It just gives it a, a nice touch to it and that's how I cartoon slash digital illustrate my pictures. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is just basically what I was saying that I enjoy using Procreate for. I still haven't divulged into everything that Procreate does, um, but I'm going to enjoy experimenting over the next couple of weeks and seeing what else I can pick up from Procreate. Um, I actually make my end title screen and my um, introduction screen all on Procreate as well. So if you'd like to see a video on how I do that, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week.